Hey everybody, Terry Good here with your Suspension Trainer September Sculpt Challenge. This workout will take less than 10 minutes. Now, we're going to do a quick setup for the Suspension Trainer. You'll have, you'll notice that you have an extension. This one is for outdoor work or anytime you might need a longer uh, suspension trainer. So if you want to use this outdoors to do the same exercises, you sure can. Today I'm going to be using the door attachment, so I won't need the extension. I'm going to be using this door here, which leads to a laundry room, just a quick FYI. So safety, for safety, you wanna make sure that if you are using this on a door that could be open, that you can lock that door so that you don't have anyone accidentally opening the door on you. Okay, one more quick visual. The suspension trainer has these tabs, these locks that hold the, the uh, adjusted straps in place. So one thing that you wanna make note of is to open them, you push down on the lock and then you can pull to make them longer or you can shorten them by opening up and pulling the top strap up okay to make the suspension trainer shorter now I'll give you a visual as to how that works so my door attachment goes on the other side center it up close the door give it a good tug so that I know that it's in place and then we're good to go okay so today's workout remember we are doing 30 second sets of four exercises, squats, rows, tricep overhead, and atomics. I have my handy dandy timer set up over here. It's the Tabata Pro app, and you can add music to it, but I won't be adding music today. Just gonna have my timer going. We're gonna do all four exercises, and then rest for one minute, and then repeat for three rounds. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, first set, I'm gonna go nice and easy just to get myself warmed up. Squats first. So I'm holding on, squatting down, feet hip width apart. Every time I come to the top of that squat, squeeze through the glutes, keeping my shoulders pointed up toward the ceiling, and I'm making sure that my belly button is pulled into my spine during the up and the down phase of this motion. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Three, two, one. I'm going right into my rows. So I'm gonna lean back and just squeeze my shoulder blades. Remember, we're starting with an easy set here. This is our warm up set. Focusing on relaxing my grip, squeezing my shoulder blades together as I pull myself towards the anchor. Remember to breathe, remember to relax your grip. I like to stick my thumbs up in the air. It helps you keep from over gripping chin slightly tucked, getting ready to go right into my tricep overhead movement. Three, two, one, turning it around. All right, so here I'm going to bend my elbows and then straighten them. And as I do this one, I wanna make sure that I keep my core tight. Bend the elbows and then straighten them. If you're having a hard time with this one, start at the bottom. Get down here, squeeze your glutes, pull your abs in tight, get down to the bottom, keeping your elbows right in front of you. Push your body back towards the door. I know it feels strange at first, but trust me, this one is so effective. All right, last one, bicep curls. I'm gonna turn around and lift and pull myself up towards the door. Using my biceps, elbows stay high. Don't let those elbows drop. Okay, so here we have a one minute. You can either take a break, because maybe you need a break here, or you can hold a plank with me, or you could squat and hold the squat down low. So keep that form tight, and then we're gonna repeat these exercises. Nice and strong on the plank. Good job guys, we have 30 seconds left. We'll go right back to it. Back to those squats, rows, biceps and triceps. Making sure you squeeze through your glutes, pull in that pelvic floor, core strong. Give me a perfect plank here. Hold tight, we're almost there. 
three, two, one. All right, here we go. Right back to the squats. Feet hip width apart, up and squeeze. Focus on the squeeze here. Relaxing the shoulders. Three, two, one, into rows. Now on these rows, I'm gonna start focusing more on, on walking my feet in a little bit more so I can challenge myself more. Thinking about squeezing the shoulder blades together. If there was a pencil between my shoulders and the mid back, that's where I'm squeezing. Keeping my shoulders out of my ears. Get ready for a tricep overhead. Three, two, one. Right at it, guys. Tricep overheads. Remember, your elbows are directly in front of you. You're keeping your hips into a plank position. I'm not sticking my butt out here. I keep it tucked under. Keep that form tight. Three, two, one. Turn it into a bicep curl. Here we go. Walk those feet in. Elbows up high. Be sure and ask if you have questions about how to perform these exercises, guys. Sometimes it's just a subtle adjustment. On this one, a lot of times I see people, they pull their elbows in and they're like, wait a minute, what? This is my elbows down, that's, that's a row. I don't want a row here. If you keep your elbows high, your biceps do all the work. Three, two, one. And we go back to that plank. Plank position, come on. Let's do it. Keeping that core strong, belly button into the spine, squeeze your glutes. So planks, planks are such a great exercise for us because they really help strengthen our entire body. You wanna focus on perfect form. Shoulders are away from the ears. Belly button into the spine, glutes turned on. I have a lazy right one. I have to think about it to get it to turn on. Do you have one of those? Keep it, keep it tight. We've got about 15 seconds left and we're going into our final round. Three, two, one. And last round of squats. Here we go. On your rows, you could do maybe a high elbow tip this time. We focus on squeezing your elbows, bring them up high. This hits more of your shoulders. When I tuck them in low, it's more the middle of my back. Which one do you want to work on? You pick, maybe it's both. Maybe it's alternate, low, and high. Three, two, one, triceps, final set of these, you guys. Let's do it, go, go. Here, squeeze your glutes. Good, remember, if you're having a hard time with this one, start at the bottom, squeeze your glutes. Don't let your butt come up before you bring those shoulders. It's shoulders and hips together. It's a moving plank, and you're moving that plank with your triceps, back of your arms. Best toner here because you get glutes, abs, and triceps. All of it pulled together. Three, two, one. Last of the biceps. Elbows high. Get it. Seconds. Keep 
keep it up guys almost there keep those levels nice and high five four three two one final plank right here here it is guys we're almost there let's do this one together come on into position last set ah oh, squeeze those glutes keep that core nice and strong come on you can do it finish strong oh big squeeze glutes are turned on belly button into the spine good job good job good job keep it up Sometimes the hardest thing to do is hold still, right? The hardest thing in a workout. Keep it tight, we're almost there. Hold strong, you guys. Give me 10 more seconds. We set it back, we stretch out, and then you're on to the rest of your day. Four, three, two, one. And time. Set it back. Reach your fingertips forward. Tuck your chin. <sighs> nice work. Stretching out through the low back. Nice. Little child's pose there. Okay. Take the arms across the midline of the body. Good. Other side. Really stretching it out. Maybe a little ear to shoulder. Pass the hands together. Go ahead and take the hands behind you. Open up your chest. Roll it your shoulder again. Good, good, good. All right, let's bring it up. You guys, I'm so proud of you. Good work today. We will catch you next time.